Speaker for Victoria. Mr. Speaker, when the Quebec government changed its tax arrangements with credit unions, it talked to them first. Mm -hmm. This conservative change came out of nowhere. Right. Millions of Canadians are members of credit unions. By increasing the tax on the profits of credit unions, Conservatives are taking away the shared benefits that credit union members get Shame. every year. Mr. Speaker, why the backdoor attack on people's pocketbooks and why no consultation? The Honourable Minister of State for Finance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And we do respect the fact that credit unions have actually helped many, many Canadians, and they continue to do that. Mr. Speaker, they're becoming very large operations, and uh, they still and I would repeat, they still have access to the lowest small business tax rate, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as referenced in the question, Quebec actually did eliminate this uh, comparable subsidy back in 2003, and we continue to be a strong supporter of credit unions, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Victoria. Well, their attack on credit unions will take $205 million out of the pockets of Canadians over the next five years. The Conservatives are also adding GST to hospital parking in this budget. The Canadian Medical Association Journal noted in 2011 that high fees are a barrier to health care. But instead of giving Canadians a break, the Conservatives are raising taxes on people who visit their loved ones in hospital. Why the attack on sick Canadians and their families? The Honourable Minister of State for Finance. Well, I certainly reject the premise of that question, Mr. Speaker. Um, we are simply, and I, would, I know the NDP don't understand anything about tax fairness, but perhaps if they stop screaming and actually listen to the answer to the question, we are actually ensuring that commercially paid parking is treated the same under the tax system everywhere across this country, Mr. Speaker. We've actually lowered the GST from 7 to 6 to 5 percent, and it's providing all Canadians important tax relief, Mr. Speaker.